So you film your video, you wanna post it on Instagram for example, you hit the little square button and you realize that the person keeps moving in and out of the frame too much and you're stuck posting it wide. Within Adobe Premiere Pro CC, there is a tool called Auto Reframe. Now what Auto Reframe does is that it will track your subject in the footage and will center them inside of that vertical or square aspect ratio automatically. And remember, you can use this for your TikTok, uh, Instagram stories, or if you're just gonna post it um, square. All right, so what we wanna do is open up Premiere Pro. Premiere, boom. Let's go ahead and name your footage, save it where you want. Make sure you know where you're gonna save it. So now inside of uh, Premiere Pro, I'm gonna be working out of this effect tab up here. That's pretty much where I'm starting most of the time. Grab your footage, drop it into the project panel here. Let's drag that over here into timeline, create a sequence. Hitting play. And right there I can see that he moves off to the right. The camera seems to move to the left. I don't know who filmed this, but they should be fired immediately. I'm just gonna shorten this up, this footage down here. Okay, and this is Jet, by the way. Incredible, talented uh, individual. You guys should check him out, follow him. I'll drop his uh, Instagram in the description below. Now, this is what it would look like if I were to turn this into a story. He's there, perfect. Oh my God, my story looks so, wait, what? That's no good. All right, so you're gonna come up here to sequence. You're gonna come down here to auto reframe. If you don't see it, because this happened to me a couple times, just make sure you click inside of your, your sequence, anywhere in here, just click in there, come up to sequence and you should see it. And this is usually how I'm gonna do it. Here you can change this. It already gives you a little parentheses one by one because that's what we're selected on in the target aspect ratio. But you can name this whatever you want. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Now square is for square, one by one, right? Uh, you have your vertical four by five, for Instagram, a post, you can do either one. Uh, vertical is for stories, TikTok, Facebook. So for this, I'm gonna hit square, and my default, I'm gonna switch it to faster motion because it is dance, he moves a little bit quicker. Uh, I do not need to nest my clips because, let's see here, this will replace your current motion adjustments. I have no motion adjustments. I'm gonna hit create, boom, and it will begin to analyze over here, you can see it doing its thing, its progress, and the effects control. That was super fast. I'm gonna hit play, and yes sir, he's tracked. All right, so that's a good track. That's pretty decent. Let's, uh, let's try a vertical. Let's see what that looks like. I'm just hitting Command Z or Undo. You can come up to Undo up here in the edit. If you're on a PC, I'll pop that in right there. That's Undo. I have a PC back there, but I'm not using it for this, because if I do it that way, then you can't see my, my dog because then the camera would be this way. And then, that's my dog. I don't have a real dog. That's as close as I get for now. Come down to auto reframe. You get this little window. Uh, I'm gonna change this to vertical. Change the motion preset to faster. Again, I don't need to nest this. I'm gonna hit create. It will automatically begin to analyze and that's it, that was so fast and you're tracked already. And if you're a, a studio or a choreographer in this case, right, you can turn this into a promo on your story. Now, obviously, take your time and do this right, right? If you have a little logo, you can pop that in there. And that's how you do your vertical aspect ratio with auto reframe. This tool is amazing. Now, sometimes the track is not the best. So I'm gonna show you an example of how to fix this manually. I'm gonna use this footage here that I have of Yaya at World of Dance Miami last year. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make a new sequence from this clip just to show you an example. Add our uh, auto reframe. I'm gonna turn this into, let's do a square for now. And I'm gonna switch my default, my sorry, my motion preset to faster motion. Hit create. So what auto frame is doing, which I didn't talk about earlier, but it's creating keyframes on the X axis. This is your X right here and I'm just clicking it and dragging it and this is your Y. So basically, for those that don't know what a keyframe is, it's a point in the video where something is happening. And usually you get some arrows here. Uh, you gotta click into the sequence and then back into the video and you'll get them here. You can jump between each keyframe. So what's happening here is that from this keyframe to this keyframe, 
it has moved on its x axis it's moving on its x axis uh, a few degrees by the way you can zoom in with your two fingers on the trackpad or use this guy down here so at this point right here it's registering the girl in the red pants it's confusing them and it's even more dramatic if we were to make this vertical let's go back to auto reframe i'm going to switch this to vertical uh, faster motion and create now if we go back to that point where we lost her earlier right there look at that it's a lot more dramatic in vertical at this point we're all on uh, this girl here in the red pants and then we find her again so if i zoom into these keyframes i know that the keyframe that i'm on is good but a lot of it before that is no good and i can hit m on my keyboard and mark it so i know that that keyframe is no good keep moving back and at this point right about here i start losing her so from there hit m okay i'm gonna grab all of these here hit delete now if i watch it she's back in the center right there she loses it so i'm just gonna drag it i'm gonna review that again to make sure yeah so right there i lose her I'm dragging her back into the center there i lose her again and yeah just want to show you that you guys can fix this manually and not to feel discouraged if you see that there's something wrong a couple years ago i read an article that was very interesting that talks about why square or vertical um, aspect ratios have a lot more engagement on say instagram even though it's a couple years old now it's still true to this day so i'm going to link that so you can read why that effect is a lot more interesting and appealing to people. Last thing I wanna show you real quick, and you guys, you know, mess around with this. All right, so I'm just gonna make a, a duplicate of this. I'm simply holding down Option or Alt on a PC. I just looked that up. All right, and I'm dragging it out, right? And there you go, I made a, uh, a duplicate. Now I'm gonna put these together real quick to show you that you can use this with multiple videos on a single timeline. Now this auto reframe, the dragging in, doesn't really work too much because you would have to do it to every single individual one. And if I do do it, nothing's gonna happen because it's in its original aspect ratio. Nothing's happening. And I can't, I don't have the option to change it here. So that's why I usually come up here to sequence, auto reframe. Now I can switch this to a square, faster motion. Okay, I'm gonna hit create. It automatically created that format of one by one, that aspect ratio, and it did it to every single one of them. So they're all tracked within that. So you, you do have that option if you have several that you want to put together. Now, when will this auto reframe drag and drop option work for you is when you say you already have this aspect ratio and you want to drag in another video that's wide. Now, see clearly she's not in the center. Now, now if I were to grab the auto reframe, drag it onto the video itself, it will begin to analyze it within the aspect ratio that is already created and as you can see she's already there so now you have both videos and they're both centered the option where you come up here to the sequence i should have mentioned this a little bit earlier but this is to add that effect to the entire sequence but you can add it to individual clips by dragging and dropping in but again just remember it will not do anything if it's in its original aspect ratio like so dragging it in and nothing happens all right and now it's time to export our video you can come up to file hit export media and you get this window here you can also hit command m okay so once in here you can change this name by clicking on it to anything you'd like make sure you remember the location where you're going to save it hit save come down here and click that box render at maximum depth and make sure that this one down here is uh, use maximum render quality. And this is a story, you can leave it at VBR1. Uh, if you're gonna post it as a post on your Instagram, I personally will go with VBR2. Keep the target bit rate at 10, maximum bit rate, you can keep that at 12 and hit export. And I'm gonna airdrop this to my phone real quick so I can see what it looks like. That pretty much covers it. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything else you want to learn, let me know in the comment section below. If you try it out and you go to post it, I'd love to see it. So, you know, tag me if you want. You're probably really busy. You probably got a lot of stuff going on. It's cool. You don't have to tag me. I don't even care. <laughs> don't even care.